Uh, shares of Pinterest under pressure this morning. Take a look at uh, the stock and see where it is right now, because it reported better than expected score, uh, second quarter results, but expenses growing. You're looking at it now off about 5 percent, and those expenses growing faster than revenue, I should say. Uh, social media stocks have been on a run so far this year. Pinterest is up 16 uh, percent for context. Uh, fellow social media stocks, Meta, up 166 percent. I mean, in a basically in a different business as far. I don't think we should put, put them on the screen, frankly, together. And then Snap up 25 percent. Again, life is relative. Joining us right now with more on the social media stocks is uh, Cameron Ansari. He's a principal and venture partner at Graycroft, also a printed shareholder. Good morning to you. Good morning. Am I, is it unfair? You're a shareholder. So is it unfair for me to say that Pinterest is like actually in a different business? No, I think mean, Pinterest is a different business than the other two, for sure. It's much closer to Google in the sense that it's a search and discovery engine, not as much a social business, not a place for messaging or looking at photos of friends and family. And Meta, at this point, the scale, I mean, it's, it's like the Death Star. It's, it's got gravitational pull, 3 billion users. It's a different ballgame altogether compared to 400 so, million. So what's the challenge that Pinterest really has at this point? Because they, 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 have, they have been challenged and struggling both to grow. Um, they clearly have this expense issue. There's been operational questions. It's a fabulous business if you you know if you if you're going to renovate a house or something. There's some fun yeah. things to do, but they haven't really nailed. I think the, these broader and broad, they need to come up with more and more broader, broader use cases. Well, they haven't nailed the shopping experience, closing right. the loop from discovery all the way to buying something and, and being end to end. And we'll see if the new Amazon partnership, which they announced, helps with that because it's a big kind of ads deal. But the question is, will those ads also enable folks to shop products on Amazon? And how will that work? Is there a ref share? That's still, you know, still being hashed out. And, and the transcript yesterday, I saw Bill didn't talk much about that. Right. And so I think the Amazon deal could be a big step for them to close the loop from just looking at the pins and images and actually being able to transact, which has been the kind of right. holy grail they've been chasing for years. But do you think that they're going to ultimately be able to truly transact? Because part of the conundrum, and we found this with just about every brick and mortar business, with a digital business, you may go look at something. Yeah tool around, decide what you want to do, and then you end up going to a different site, frankly. Yep. Or maybe it is that Amazon's not actually the cheapest, or maybe you have a Walmart Plus subscription, well, or, some, or some other thing. So, you know, Pinterest, years ago, we, the, we had a program there uh, uh, when I was there called Buyable Pins. It was shopping pins. You could actually transact on Pinterest. There was something like two or three million pins that were shoppable. Users didn't really do it. Uh, right. So there's a user behavior issue. There's an education issue, which is you know, letting people know they can buy stuff on Pinterest, but also all the stitching and plumbing that has to happen and figuring out, well, who gets the rev share? Where does the, does the transaction take place on Pinterest? Or right. is it on Walmart and Amazon? And how does that um, all so work? Here's the question. You're a shareholder. Why are you still a shareholder if you have as many questions as you do? I'm a long-term believer in the business. I think it's the, it's the business is one that, and Bill has also talked about this, where you have very kind of wholesome content that advertisers want to be next to. So it's got that kind of Fortune 50 type brands, the biggest banks, the biggest kind of uh, digital right. media companies. They're all advertising for image on campaigns. For image campaigns, right. yeah. And so it's the same. But audience not transactional kind of, campaigns, which is actually the right. interesting part. Well, that's more of the Instagram has more of the sort of direct response, right. you know, you, impulse buy, kind of that last aisle at the shopping uh, store. Right. The ads on Instagram that are shoppable are kind of more that type of product. On Pinterest, they're sort of more of the prime time television audience, like cars and, and credit cards and things of that nature. Uh, that are being kind of uh, presented there. How do you think about the other social media companies right now? So Snap's been in a lot of trouble last uh, couple of quarters. They actually had year on year declining revenue, which for kind of high growth consumer internet is highly unusual to see. Uh, you know, I was trying to look back and see if the 20 years of Google's history being public, if Google ever had a year right. on year decline. Uh, and so uh, that's a very rare thing. And so Snapchat, I think, is, is in a different spot because they're trying to retool the ads business and, and figure things out. Um, Meanwhile, do you think, think they can? I mean, do you think operationally the back end tech on Snap, which is obviously the thing that is under fire yeah. by investors, can actually be meaningfully improved so that it can be competitive with the kind of advertising services that are offered on Instagram or offered uh, via Google? Well, look, it, it's completely possible, but the issue is it's going to take a long time. You know, you can't kind of turn you know a, t a tanker container around you know on a dime. But if you're this far, I don't know if you think you're this far behind, but Given where they are, if they quote unquote catch up, by the time you catch up, yeah, where's everybody else? Well, the thing, the thing with Snapchat too is it's a messaging platform, right? Fundamentally, they've tried to add content. You know, just right. on there, and they, they have kind of little stories and stuff at the front now. But 
you, you go there really to message friends and family. And so the ads are somehow always going to be a little bit interruptive, right? They're not as natural right. as they are on Instagram has, or Pinterest. Has Facebook ever figured that out on WhatsApp? No. Not really, no. Right? Um, but they count those users. They and do. It's very interesting. We sit around and we talk about all these users, yeah. but a huge number of them are on WhatsApp. And relatively unmonetizable at this point because right. WhatsApp is really monetized through any kind of subscription or, or ads at this point. But I, I think the, the fact is of the 3 billion users that, that uh, Meta has, 2 billion plus are, are Facebook. So right. that's obviously the... You know, it's an 80% uh, gross margin business. It's a fantastic business they have. If you could own one, which one do you own? I think Meta is probably the long-term stock that, that you want to own. But uh, I also think Pinterest has a lot of potential, especially as they kind of roll out commerce. And international is a big component for Pinterest as well. Are you a believer in X? It's a private company, I'm, obviously. You know, and nobody it, knows what the valuation. I don't know if you think the exactly. valuation is twenty billion dollars today, fifteen billion dollars, twenty-five billion. That's a parlor game, and we've lost one more comp. Right? We used to have another comp every quarter that would release earnings, and now that, that it's private, we don't know exactly what's happening there. But you know, by all accounts, the, the valuation is, is probably down from where it was taken private. Okay, so uh, if Elon ago. called you tomorrow and said, "Hey, man, <laughs> 20, 20, Well, let's call it a valuation of twenty billion dollars, a little less than half of where we started. Yeah. Do you want in? I'd probably go into 20 billion. I mean, look, it's, they have 450 million users, highly active and engaged audience. Um, I think that the challenge there is similar to Snap. It's always been trying to figure out what is the ads model that fits within kind of the, the broadcast uh, you know, messaging right. that they have on, on Twitter.